Hey guys, Oscar Gonzalez here for notagrouch.com and I want to show you a quick three minute tour on Streak. Now I mentioned Streak before. I use it as a way to manage some of the contacts that I make online and some of my customers. It also has a few neat features like scheduling email and tracking delivery of an email. So those are pretty nice features and I've just signed up with a different account because I have another account to manage. So. I thought I'd record this and show you the product tour for um, Streak. Now I really like Streak, like I said. Check it out. Go to um, I don't know. Look for the add-on for Chrome for Streak. I'll, I'll put the link right below on the video. So if you're watching this on my blog or on YouTube, the link should be right there below, so you can learn more. But let's get started really quick, and I'll explain any part that is not self-explanatory. So um, this may take a little longer than three minutes. Kind of a guided tour if you would so you will see this when you sign up for streak and you approve streak to access your account um, i didn't record that part so this is the next step after you give permission to your account so let's go and see show me more show me what okay so <clears throat> notes this is a streak box is where you store all the emails files notes and associated associated with a particular thing you should have one box for each thing that you want to track. So a streak allows you to track, for example, it's a customer relationship management system. It allows you to track objects or people or companies that you're emailing with. You just put them into some sort of box and conversation type of system. And they move along a progress line. Think about a sales funnel. You put people into a prospect, a lead, a warm lead, a buyer, a you know customer support level, maybe uh, on a re repitch, you know, sell them something new. So that that could be a funnel that you manage with CRMs and spe specifically with Streak in this case. So right now it's showing me there's a box for Streak right here, and I can add other things. So let's see next. Box fields are used to enter the structured data so that you can easily search and filter your boxes. Okay, Emails that have been added to the box show up here. Yeah, this is pretty nice. So once I've added a person to a box and I have emails with a, that individual, it will show up right here as a list of all the emails I've had with that person in one simple view, much better than a folder, much more practical. So it's very nice. Um, you can see everything on this view when you're looking at a box. And I'll show you a box right here real quick when we're finished. Ah, this is the box right here. This is actually the pipeline. They call it a pipeline, I call it a funnel, same thing. So you can see right here, if this was a hiring funnel, this is where you get the resume from somebody. This is where they go into a phone screening uh, interview type of thing. Then there's a real interview. And this is the internal decision. So internal company decision is going to decide between these two people right now. There's four people in negotiation and two are hired. Two have passed. So these people are ready to be brought on board. And you can see right here which person is in where, what stage. There's some nodes. And it also tells you who it is assigned to. That's some, one of the beauty things, uh, one of the great things about Streak. <clears throat> you can assign items or people or things to other people simply by adding their email address here and of course they have to have gmail and be using streak so uh, that's the pipeline this is the different <clears throat> like i just walk you through each one of these represents a stage in the process right here each row of the table is one box just like a spreadsheet you can update the fields of the box right from this table so you can do updates right here. It's pretty nice without having to actually go into it. Uh, you can add extra columns or remove the ones so that it fits that pipeline as best as you know as it is for you. You can also, of course, share it with people in your own team. Um, and the boxes go right here. They're showing me a sample of a hiring pipeline right now. So you can manage new ones. I mean, you can manage existing ones, add new ones, and then um, that's it. So it's pretty nice. And then of course they give you this little thing, which is nice. 
a little search box that I just closed. So I don't have, one is hiring, but since I am an affiliate manager, I'm gonna rename this to recruiting. Okay, so I'm gonna be recruiting people to join an affiliate program. <clears throat> so we don't need this many stages, in fact. We're going to rename this to outreach. Outreach. I'm going to rename this to um, in contact. Rename this to application in progress. Active affiliate. Training. <clears throat> now notice how I've, I've named all this, and if you want to rearrange them in the process, you just simply drag and drop like this. Okay. So these are my stages for my recruiting process. So as I send people email, for example, <clears throat> let's do it right now because I've sent some already. Okay, so we have this. Let's make that a box. See this little thing right here? I'm going to make that box and I'm going to name it Dennis. So now we have a box named Dennis that's in the recruiting. Um, here's another one. So we're going to name that as well. So now let's go look at the recruiting pipeline. So see, now we have two people on outreach. So those people I've already sent a message to, so they're in outreach. And as they move through along the process, I will have, um, <clears throat> they will move here. So I know where everybody's at. And this could be a purchase. This could be a like I showed you in the previous example, a hiring process where this is where they become an employee. And you can have many different pipelines and you can manage things that go into that uh, very easily just by looking at that. So for example, this is a box. So you can see right here and I'm going to have to blur some of this out. So pardon for that. But if I had another email, I would send them and it would show up right here. If I wanted to add just a note, um, I could add a file, I could add a reminder, say, Monday at 8 a.m., remind me. <coughs> okay, and I wanted to remind me to follow up. Okay, and create. Okay, so now, next Monday, the 16th, is going to send me a reminder. Um, and I can add different, you know, different notes. Now, notes are going away for streaks, so... Don't get too attached to those. I just got an email saying that that will be going away. So anyway, that's a great way uh, to use Streak. Hope that you like the overview. By the way, if you'd like to be an affiliate, contact me at notagrouch on Twitter, notagrouch.com. I can help you become an affiliate, start making money, whether it is for the program I run or for any other one that's out there. Share, sale, ClickBank. I can tell you all the goods on how to do it, why you should do it. And uh, follow me if you want to know more or just contact me. Go to notagrash.com slash contact and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.